What's up everybody? This is Dottie with Ignite Cinemas. And today I have a tutorial on how to create a play bar for your videos using Final Cut Pro 10. No plugins needed. Let's get it. That's right, folks. So if you ever browse Instagram, I'm sure you've seen these type of videos with this awesome progress bar or playback bar on these videos. Um, I know Grant Cardone uses them a lot, Gary Vee, a lot of top internet marketers. Shouts out to my boy, Kevin Anson. He taught me how to do this, but he uses Adobe Premiere, and you know I'm Final Cut Squad all day. And I found out how to do it on Final Cut Pro 10, and I'm super excited because it's super simple, so let's get into it. So it looks best like on a square video, but we can add this on any video. So here's my example right here. As you can see, it's loading up and it goes throughout the whole duration of the video. And shouts out to Coach Rock and I Love Basketball TV. But I'm gonna show you how to do this from scratch. I'm gonna go to project. Now I'm gonna create another one of these square videos because they work for me, but you can do this on any video. To me, it looks aesthetically more pleasing on a square format. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna come down to custom and this is gonna be IG. Um, progress bar demo all right so custom so we're gonna do 1080 by 1080 and 24 frames and this is how you do it we're gonna create that project okay now we got that I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna use this video clip so we go over here we come to the text tool and we come over we come on down the solids right here and then we get custom and drop that on top all right now that we have it on top minimize that we go ahead and stretch this out to the duration and we come over here to the left and we come to the crop and we go ahead if i can grab it there we go go ahead and crop it now i'm probably going to put the bar here so i'm going to crop it down to about right there and hit done now we come over here to the right and we can change the color of our bar it could be any color for this tutorial sake i guess we can keep it plain jane red i want something that pops though i'm gonna switch it up i'm gonna do yellow i'm gonna get edgy but it could be any color okay and once we do that we have the bar where we want to put it and again we're going to come over to the crop tool we're gonna make this smaller, like it's starting up. I'm gonna hit done. And you can come up here and zoom in and make sure everything's okay. Um, I gotta move mine, okay. Come back to the crop tool. And as you can see right here, this is where we're gonna add our keyframe. So we're gonna be keyframing this. And you wanna make sure the head is all the way at the very beginning. So now that that's selected, we're gonna hit this plus tool right here. And we're gonna go ahead, grab this line, the dragger, I forgot what it's called. We're gonna drag it all the way to the very end. And I'm gonna use the back, the left space arrow. Get it back right there. And we're gonna drag this, we're gonna select the bar and drag it all the way to the very end and hit done. Now what this is gonna do, look at that. You see it load up, let me fix this. You see it load up throughout, boom, and you got your progress bar. But the coolness doesn't stop. I'm gonna give you guys a bonus hack, bonus time, to make it look even cooler. We're gonna select our bar, hold the option key down and drag up, AKA copy and paste. And we got the same, we got the same bar up top. Then what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna focus on the bottom bar. And under crop, you're gonna see something called right. And that was pretty much the keyframe. We're gonna eliminate this. So we come over here to this part right here and hit reset. And we're gonna change that color to, I don't know, we could do, change it to a gray. Maybe a little gray. You guys can get crazy. You can, it could be any color. White, I'm gonna do gray for this tutorial sake, like a smoked out gray. Watch. And then when we do the playback, it actually shows like more of the progress, which, enhances it so get crafty use this effect in your videos they will help it convert more 
The square one looks best in my honest opinion, but you can add this effect to any video on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. Get creative, y'all. And that's how you create a playback progress bar on your video in Final Cut Pro 10. No plugins needed. Easy peasy. If this tutorial was easy and you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more Final Cut Pro tutorials like this, as well as unboxings, reviews, vlogs, and video business strategies, hit subscribe so you never miss a video on this channel. And as always, don't forget to ignite. See ya.